so excited. Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host Jake and I'm a little bit drunk. Today we're joined by Bragg from Braggio. Yeah, I'm also And Ben from Nolan TCG. I am the one who's going to steal this ship to Sandy. <laughs> for once. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, how was our week in Yu-Gi-Oh? Bragg, did you get up to much in Yu-Gi-Oh in the last several days? I had to have. I did. I was on you Master Duel. Scream, uh, scream, stream, stream yeah, on yeah. Monday. Well, yeah. Because you were ill. And I went to stream Pogo the next day and it just didn't work. Bloody. So I went, I tried to go to Twitch. Didn't really like, I just don't really like that ecosystem. Went back to YouTube and then went, oh, that's right. Twitch is way easier to stream to from mobile. So... That's where I'm at. I'm back to... I'm streaming Master Jewel because it's the only thing I can really do. Um, so yeah, I'd try... What did I do? I, I just played more Exorcist, I reckon. And yeah, just waiting, well. for, waiting for... And I, I crafted a couple of things as well. And no. Uh, never. I'm still in... I'm not even plat yet. I fell very far. Yeah. I keep getting awesome. sidetracked with... Like, and I'll just dip into casual for a bit and just, I launched Master Duel today just to be like, where's this at? And there's like six days to go and I'm like five levels away from the Karibo and I was like, not worth it. <laughs> oh, wow. Really? No way, it Ditching is. Ditching on Karibo. I might do it over the weekend. It's I'm not, up to that I was going to say, you've got several days to do it. Yeah, but I'm busy. I'm on my holiday, you know? That's why we're recording this at 2am instead of 3am. Yeah, mm-hmm. early one tonight. <laughs> yeah, recording this early. Apologies if we missed the news. Uh, and I'm, I don't want to build Runic Plunder. It's probably where it's going to end up. I don't want it to end up that way, though. Or you could build Runic, uh... I don't think uh, it's the Runic that uh, he's attached to. Furries. What's the furry? Well, I, I've got to wait for the next pack, and we've still got fucking... We've still for got another hire. month. That's it. Runic Fur Hire. Uh, build that. I was thinking the Pearlies, which... Fur Hire Plunder. Plunder's Fur Hire. Plunder's Fur Hire. I don't agree with that. I don't think anyone's done that because it's for a good bad. reason. <laughs> uh, yes, I'm tempted by that and thinking about tier again as well for both. I probably should play a version of tier at locals because it's there and well, and also the fucking the new ultra is cheap as shit now, isn't it? Oh yeah, yeah, because cash don't really run it. So yeah, it's like I think I saw them for like five bucks a month. Yeah, no one's playing tier element and. You play one at most in cash tier, so it's like okay, cool. Yeah, so I probably since they're so cheap, I probably should just do that and play like the tier build. That I mean, we'll talk about it in a second. Well, yeah. we probably won't go that in depth. I'll play that version tier because it's pretty simple, and I've got it. And pearlies aren't here yet. No pearlies. Nearly. Thank God. Ben, I won locals. Pretty, pretty standard <laughs> playing cash tier. Fuck me. What? I have a 60% locals win rate with Cash Tira. I'll take that. Just gotta keep on, keep it on. I still only lost... Well, I'm at, I've lost two matches now with Cash Tira since I've been playing it. So... One to me. You, you take you take the wins and you take the losses. You played Prost in that bad boy? Yep. Yeah. I'm still pl- I haven't changed my list since the day I put it together. Yeah. I'm just... Keep it on, keep it on. I changed three cards from my side deck this week. Hey, didn't no. side deck this week, so it didn't matter. <laughs> um, yeah. But I only side decked in the cards that were already in my side deck. I side it out dark. I took dark holes out and I put evenly matched in. I was like, this seems logical. These, these will do. Huge. And so the theory is that I put in thrustings and I put in evenlies. And then if I get hand trapped on a combo, I just thrusting into evenly and then go battle phase. Boop. You know, that's my logic. My logic sound. I just need pro. See that? And that's thing. This is actually kind of appealing. It's so fucking play, simple. There's a, the list now. Don't play Prospo. The new list don't use it. They, they play just... Desires. It's like, ooh, that's dangerous. So they don't play yeah. the Trap Guy anymore, and then they play yeah. Desires. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This was what happened to Sword Soul. Pretty much. Yeah. Pretty much. Is max out what's important. Play three desires. Off you go. And desires stayed correct, didn't it? So desires is gonna be correct. No, you oh play two God. desires. Desires are two. Yeah. yeah. 
Put two desires and next drive. Off you go. Oh, next drive would feel so. Oh, I don't know about next drive. Surely. Ah, you finished. You played multiples of the good cards in the extract anyway. But I'm, you play a prost. Most of the time, you're only banishing like Garuda, the cheesy card that like protects your Xyz and all that nonsense. I didn't even play that card. Not my list. No need. Probably should play it. It'd protect me from a lot of people that are trying out my board. Yes, but at the same time, no. <laughs> but what happens if you lose a rise? Oh, well. I've lost anyway. Look, protecting it from being popped isn't going to stop me from eating kaiju. Who's playing a pop to out that at the moment? Exactly. No one, because everyone's playing lanced. <laughs> exactly. Hmm. So yeah, I got lanced the, on Tuesday. Someone lanced you. Yeah, we hit with forbidden lance. The why? Oh no, sorry, I got confused. Um, the, the card I'm one? thinking of is artifact Jealous? lance. Yeah. Oh, oh, lance here. I got Ooh, I got lance yeah. here. Was it by Josh? Uh. I can't remember who lanceered me because I immediately won. I was yeah. Like, I've been lanceered. Oh well. Good anyway. thing I'm going second and I'm just going to attack you now and win. Okay. Unless if unless if the lance here was off like a heavy plus. That's just bad. Like I assume you've spent three cards for it. No, no. They, they must have just hard drawn that lance here. So they did their standard combo. Oh, yeah, sure. And sure, then sure. lanceered me and I was like, okay, uh... One, two, three, four, uh, attack. <laughs> that's, it. that's probably the most annoying thing about Cash, is like, it's one thing to just stop their combo, but then they're also just all 2300 plus attack monsters. Yeah, and they just punch you with the face. And one, and you get a free removal off the of Fenrir. Yeah. It's... Assuming so, you haven't been lanceyed. Assuming you haven't been lanceyed. But yeah, you just go poke, 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 okay. Easy. Yeah, is the Lancia worth that one hypothetical card that's now beating you in the face and winning the game? I don't know. And it doesn't stop the Lancia doesn't stop you from making Xyz. It just stops no. them from doing the rip combo. And like blocking all your zones. But yeah, like, if you're going second you're not doing that. Exactly. I'm also just gonna make a, a rise heart and pass. <laughs> okay, it, it stops the level four from becoming level seven? Yes. That's it? Doesn't matter if you open other combos? You know? Like, you can just instead search Cash Tira and then you don't know, fucking play, figure it out. Hmm. You just get birth and theosis. It's fine. Just do the thing. Just do it. And we're all okay with this, right? Well, you're not. No, yes. I hate it. It's fine. But is everyone else okay with it? Let us know. I'm kind of curious because, yeah. like, we've, we've had talked. this before. Okay, it's not my most hated deck in the format, but it's definitely up there. I feel like this format is now significantly worse because people are trying to stop Kashira. Oh, I, I, I would Kashira. much rather play against Kashira than play against Runic. Oh, of the two, hundred percent. Oh yeah, every day of the week, and uh, like oh, every other good deck in the format is a variant of Runic. And it's like, oh, cool. That's I guess up. I guess it's easy to see with top 64 the people that won't play it as well. But, yeah, I don't know. That's weird. Because, like, in Zodiac, we all play Zodiac. Yeah. Why don't we all play Cash? Because Cash is significantly easy to count. So Cash is bad. It's just easy to count. Anyway. Jake, how was your week in New Year? Bad. <laughs> um, yeah, it, it was disastrous. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I only won the one match, was the, which was the one that was recorded. So that was good. It was round one. Yes. Uh, lost to Ben, and then lost two mirrors in a row because I drew fucking atrocious. At one point, his opponent had his Starlight Mirror Jade, and I was like, things aren't going well for Jake. <laughs> no. I didn't have the read on a super poly in the background, uh, in the back row, I should say. Mm -hmm. um, so he super poly my mirror jade, Aluba, and one of his monsters to make a Briskinian in the battle phase, and then before I could get my own mirror jade back out, he reborned it. <laughs> and because he had lost on board, I couldn't at least trigger the mirror jade effect to blow up the board in the end phase because I can't respond to a fusion summon. Reborn. <laughs> So yeah, Mon Tuesday. Tuesday wasn't great for me. Why are you not citing a copy of Monster Reborn to the mirror match? 
Because I'm not going to fucking see it. If you do, though, it's pretty insane. Wow. One ofs. You should start playing the track that stops Monster Reborn. <laughs> Monster Reborn Reborn. Why am I not playing that? Oh, no, maybe. That's right. good, is it? No, it isn't. Isn't it the one in, that in Reborn's your... a bash? Or you reveal three engrave and then they choose Three one. engrave, they choose one that you get to reborn, the others get banished. That seems really good. Wait, why are you not playing that in Brandon? Because it's bad. But like, you target Aluba, Albaz, uh, and the other guy, the level one. And then, if they're an idiot, you plus, and if they're an idiot, you go plus, plus, plus. Or you just get the level one guy out. The math half checks. <laughs> no. They choose, uh, they choose randomly or is they choose? They choose. Ah, they'll give you the level one. It's okay. That's not what you want, the level one. It's, yeah, it's, hold it's on. Until you said we're getting the level one, I wasn't sure. It's fucking I awesome. thought it was random. I'm like, oh yeah, take that bet. Um, but yeah, I have seen a list of uh, Lunar Light tier element floating around. Uh, so I'm kind of keen to try that out. Or finally put together the dogmatic ritual that I want to do for a while and rip people's extra decks apart. That seems kind of fun. Lunar Light... I said the wrong word. Tier Element topped at the YCS. It did. I've actually got the list saved as well, so I can examine it further. Yes. Yeah, let's just play that. Speaking of the YCS, what else topped? I don't know. Because none of the pages that I went on before we did the news would give me the actual breakdowns. It was oh, very I'll annoying. I'll breakdown. try to help Jake segue us into the news. And here we are. I swear and I've seen the breakdown. Shut up. Fucking bitch. Um, <laughs> yeah, no one had like a comprehensive breakdown for me. They just had lists. It was very annoying. Uh, so, from top 32, it was at... 64. Oh, yeah, true. I didn't factor that in. Yeah, it is. Oh, because I've only, I've only looked at the LA one. I actually uh, well, in the, in the top 32, after the first round of elims, uh, there was eight branded, uh, seven Kashira. Um, then there was uh, one... Uh, I don't know, I'm making this up. I was going to say, egg graded seems yeah. way too high. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, just, it's just our locals. <laughs> yeah. There are so many branded players on our locals uh -huh. now. Yep. It's fun. Easy wins. And Shut yeah, your bitch. Yeah, for you, maybe. I just can't beat them. Thumbs. I don't want to lose to branded. Just ash them. It's not that good. I do. <laughs> the, the amount of times now I just open ash and I'm just like, okay. To be fair, on Tuesday against Jake, it almost cost me. Where I held the ash. Because I was like, Jake doesn't have branded fusion, but I'm going to hold the ash and let him get the branded fusion. Then I'm going to ash the branded fusion. Didn't you have a game that you didn't you didn't use ash? Were we watching a game? Some, well, yeah, we are watching a game where they didn't use ash and it just went, like, insane. It's like, no, oh, shit, should have used ash. We are watching that. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Always got to ash. Well. You just negate everything that comes up. Just click A all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The guy didn't ash the, the field The spell thing is, the every place. other week up until this point, we've literally gone, don't be the moron that does the clicky button master duel thing. And now you're just like, clicky hey, button, if there's a button, you yes. should click it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, moving on to some news. We start with oh, master. What? We didn't. The token booth. What? Yeah, what about they it? had Adelante. token booths. Yeah, they had they the did. token booth. Adventure token. Sick idea. That's so cool. Dead ass. I was talking to Jabe on Tuesday night. I've never heard you say that before. So I was talking to the guy that owns our locals. And in our locals, we have uh, one of the big sheets of uncut magic cards. Like typically what you'd see at a YCS uh, at the prize ball. And I was like, hey, Jabe, how did you get that? And he's like, oh, well, like... I'm fairly, is it like this at Yu-Gi-Oh, but you go to like a big event and they have a prize ball and you can play in lots of side events and earn tickets. And I was like, yeah, those exist in every country but ours. <laughs> Even the South American ones that Konami seemingly doesn't care about still get that and we don't. Yes. I, for how much money you would make, surely they would make enough money off all the entries 
for the side events to pay for to fly the extra people over to run. Yeah, surely. And that's the thing. Right. If there we was, we go through a lot of them. If there was an now an announcement beforehand, you would get that many people just playing the side events. Yes. Like you would get people playing bespoke just side events so that they can just mm. hammer the fucking prize booth yep. to the shit house, and then you get probably the people that are just there in the main event waiting for the side events to start to just fuck off. If with... you lose three side events, you can get a pop final. That seems okay. I Trends. reckon you could. I reckon, like, the amount of money those side events make, you could 100% justify having second total of operators. Or outsource the bastard. It wouldn't be that hard. Just go, oh, here's the sponsor's stuff. You you figure out the rest of the prizes, you pocket, whatever. It's not that hard. Uh, we need the, the big sheets of Starlight Rares. Yeah, like, yeah, so give those. them that, a couple of plushies, like, other shit, and go, oh, for the packs and everything else you guys cover, and that's the, you pocket that. Surely, it can't, surely, it come on! It cannot be that hard. It simply cannot. They are I just am. lazy. <sighs> lazy. Don't have the connections. Inexp- I, I don't know. I, I don't know how you don't have the connections. It's Konami. You just call you Arthur and you connection. say, "Hey, I also work for this company." Call Bethany yes. down in fucking accounts and get it sorted. Australia exists. Shouldn't be this hard. Send a surprise. <gasps> Maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's one of those flat earthers that believes that Australia doesn't exist. That we're all paid actors. Oh, shit. Hmm. They're on to us. <laughs> I might have to report that to James C. Yu here. In the shack. Why are all the middle names C? <laughs> all, of, all of them had the, the middle name <laughs> it's, it's... starting with a C. Arthur C. Konami, James C. fucking Yu Gi Oh! Reginald C. Games. You really need to pick a different letter. <laughs> it stands for copyright. <laughs> the middle name's copyright. Anyway, yeah. uh, so moving on to some news, we start with Master Duel. And, I'm very excited, Tier Elements is coming. It has been announced for the Jeez, blessings of nature. Shut the element. fuck up, shut the fuck up, shut the fuck up. Well, it has been announced for the blessing of nature Tirelements. pack. So it also has Venusaur and Amazonist, which no one cares about. Oh, and Melfi. Sorry, and Melfi. Um, but it comes with a big caveat. Uh, Wait, did you say the other... Uh, the... Oh, yeah, no, that's fine, it's fine. Keep going, keep going. I, I know, I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. I mix them up with Pearlies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he said Pearlies. <laughs> I didn't say no, Pearly. Said Mommy. I said the one that you've been trying to say for two weeks and you keep fucking it up. What? Oh, God, he's... Terrible. You've been trying to say Pearly <laughs> and been saying Melfi. I said thing. Melfi because I meant Melfi. They're the same thing. They fucking aren't. Yeah. And we've been through this oh, yeah, we did have two weeks in a row. Right? Yes. So, as I said, two elements are coming, but with a heavy asterisk. Uh, because uh, mm. coming in limited are Kikalos and Triple P, mm-hmm. and semi limited are all the fusions, uh, Happiness, Merle, and Sheeran. Mm. I and, actually rate that. And I'm assuming that Root Colossus isn't coming in just yet. Why did they bring Kikalos? Oh, because I guess there's no Rook, so yeah. you have to you can limit the Kikalos. Yeah. That's confusing. So we'll have Rook for probably like Rook and that for a month, surely, and then they'll kill. Cool. I could yeah. honestly see them just doing an immediate whack on it the second we get Rook just be like nope I appreciate limit lists on these because we don't have to craft more and we get to make cool decks I'm pretty sure this will still be fine oh uh, then again there's the shufflers are pretty nerfed as well <laughs> yeah shufflers and millers are at two uh however uh, grass is green eyes still legal yeah uh, chaos dragon is still legal uh, what do you mean? Yeah, uh, I felt this uh, way before as well. 40 cards. Consistent. You can make it 40 cards and have Chaos Dragon. And have Grass. I mean, you could do that. Yeah, they just, just, they, if they plus second, fucking 12, yeah. you get to I mill. Mean, <laughs> I was going to say, if, if you're in a tier element mirror, yeah. they've milled a bunch of their cards. I've just had a flashback to back in the day with Your Grass. Your eyes went so wide just yeah, now. I just had a the flashback to getting max seed when I was playing a grass deck and was just like I have a lot to do before I activate this grass so I'm just gonna mill 40 <laughs> just comboed off my opponent drew 20 and I was like 
And now activate Gross? And now let's keep playing. <laughs> but around the time that Gross was a thing, they also had Ash. Weren't you worried at some point that they would have drawn into Ash? Well, you see, Jake. No. <laughs> because they didn't. Ash came out in the next set. I said around the time. I didn't yeah, say the, the exact time. Ash didn't exist. So the time frame of which you did this, Ash wasn't a thing. Yes, this was... It's fucking this wild to April. think that fucking grass huh. existed before ash huh that would have been te- it would, would i can't remember it. it i clearly deleted it from my mind but i'm sure it was terrifying yeah. huh. they banned maxi like very quickly after this i think yeah yeah it wasn't too long after that the they match. gave you a count of maxi and then we're like ah it's scary maxi. so we never really got the ocg do you have maxi do you have ash <laughs> cold bar doesn't exist yet yeah wow Actually, a yeah, call by back then would have been so good. Yep. We're stuck with DD Crow. Ugh. That's going to stop my Crow also doesn't negate the, man, get, get the Ash or the Maxi. Yeah, but it helps with the stuff what? you're going to get rid of. Next bit of news. I was just fucking uh, to finish on this one, uh, the confirmed uh, rarities of this so far, we get the Vernasilf Goddess and Rukalos. Oh, hang on. We do get Rukalos straight Whoa! away. What? That's fucking wild. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, uh, disregard what I said what feels like an age ago. Uh, we do get Rukala straight away, and it is an ultra rare. That means we have to get Scream and stuff, too. I don't... Uh, we don't have to. I, I it's don't... likely that we do, but we don't have to. I've decided that I don't care about the rarity of cards in Master Well, oh, yeah, it's pretty easy. Mm, yeah. I have 7,000 gems. That's after good. I spent 5,000 gems building Sprite, and only to go... I don't really care if I can't make Toad. I don't want to play this deck if I can't make Toad. <laughs> I'm not gonna play this deck if I can't play Toad. Well, you only play Gem FTK, so you don't fucking make any other decks. With <laughs> <laughs> yes. I can continue playing Gem FTK. Gem FTK got new support. They did. I am yet to lose whilst playing that deck. However, I didn't play for very long. I was gonna say... I feel like you've played three matches. You're just like, no, was well, like that's the meta solved. <laughs> it was like 10. I think I was in like gold and I was like, this is just too gold? easy. Gold? You're talking shit while you're playing in gold, bro. Yeah, because I haven't played the fucking game. Well, how about you, you get to a rank around? where people play properly oh and then you talk shit? Look at this gatekeeper. Nah, that's boring. <laughs> I'm and... in the weeds. First in DM every few games. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, moving on, uh, we have some new announcements from Duelist Nexus. Uh, it is the next line of the Manadom uh, support, which is the next line of Vesus. Mm. Um, so we've got another level 2, uh, does similar stuff, uh, special summons itself if you control a Vesus Starfrost stat type monster. Um, stat type monster? 1500 attack, 2100 defense. Huh. All of the uh, heart main deck monsters have that stat line. Okay. So yeah, special summons itself by that, and if it's destroyed, uh, you can special summon another um, Mana Dome tuner from deck, because all the level 2s are tuners. Um, they've got a new Synchro that uh, calls itself uh, Vesus while it's on the board, and if it's Synchro summoned, you can search any um, spell or trap that mentions Vesus Starfrost from the deck. Uh, it does need a light tuner though, so not completely generic. Um, a lot of this other stuff seems more specific to Visa Starfrost in and of itself, not, like, the archetype as such. And also doing, like, really shitty interactions, isn't it? Like... Yeah, it's kind of garbage. Yeah, um, <laughs> it's... It does something, like, it doesn't do anything, though, right? If you right? control Visa Starfrost, your opponent shuffles their hand. Yeah, or some shit like that. Yeah, it's all a little bit odd. Um... I suppose it does. It seems like it's getting towards the end of that law line, and the cards generally get a little bit bizarre at that point. But it could also be a thing where, like, they're releasing a new bit of support, and then you go, "Oh shit, this is actually kind of busted." Yeah, it could be that. So we'll have to wait to see what happens with that. At the moment, it's just a little weird. Um, but also coming in Duelist Nexus. Uh, actually, no, it's coming in a different set. I like. Yeah. Uh, we have Battling Boxer Support. Hmm. Uh, so, from what I've read of them so far, they get a Double Summon Monster, they get a Rescue Rabbit Monster, 
they get a monster that lets them search a counter counter trap of which i think there's currently three targets yeah. Counter counter trap. So it's a counter that has counter. A counter trap, a has counter counter trap that has counter in the name. Yes. Okay. So I think they already had one that was battling boxer specific. Yeah. Uh, there's counter counter. Which is battling boxer support. No, it's just a generic uh, counter trap that negates counter traps. If they didn't change the name of this preemptively, it's battling boxer support. Sure, Ben. What no, are you saying? No, in the past. When they released Forbidden Searches, they eroded the cards they didn't intend to be searched in the Forbidden Archetype. So, therefore, if they haven't changed Counter Counter's name, Counter Counter is battling box support. I'm right. Remember when they changed Forbidden whatever the one was? Silent the... Graveyard. Yeah, yeah, was that Forbidden Graveyard? Yes, it was. Yeah, imagine if we could search that. That would do nothing. I mean, in theory, it oh, may have done one. something in the tier 11 format. In theory, communism works. What an odd point to bring up. Anyway, um, so yeah, they get a new counter trap that uh, negates uh, a monster effect and then uh, cheats out a battle and boxer XZ from the extra deck, uh, which is also kind of cool. Uh, the extra deck monster doesn't seem... Oh, hang on. It searches a battle and boxer spell yeah. trap. It's not... And then, and then the second one negates the summon. Yeah. yeah it, it does some things. The Chaos rank up, though, is weird. Can't believe they're still rolling this out. Jules Nexus, even in the next cycle, we're going back to this shit. Yeah, I suppose it's a little bit easier now. I've never liked like the Chaos number. No, most of them are kind C of shit. number 27? I just wish we had just the numbers. That would be cool. Yeah. Sure, make a million Utopias. That's a I have a million versions of number forty, but thirty-nine. Who's forty? Um, Actually, that was the thing that had Utopia on Utopia Brother. Other. Utopia Brother, older by one year, but not yes. as successful. Would you like to not know? Successful. Oh fuck, that kills. Yep. Give me puppet of strings. Huh. Number 38's good. Do people talk about gimmick puppets in the last two months? Yeah, we're playing gimmick puppets Yeah, now. because there's a level 8 that locks you out of your turn. <laughs> yes, I remember that now. <laughs> yes, but number 38 is good. I thought it was what you thought it was, but... So, I'm Palinger. Just... Yes. Yeah. Is it number... I can't remember which one it is. Which What's one? the rank 4 one that I like that's also a, a Hope monster? Number 41's Bogusko. Hope Woven Spider Dragon Chuck. Okay, but number 41's Bogusko. It is Bagoogles. In that line, there's, there's, like, it goes like, good, should have been good, shit, good. Yeah. Rank, well put, Ben. Well ra put. Ranking number monsters coming soon. But in sporadic, <laughs> in sporadic mentions. Yes. <laughs> You'll have to type <laughs> At it number 17, together. 48. <laughs> 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 We're not going to say their names either. Yeah. We're just going to say the numbers. Yes. Uh, so, uh, we also have a new trap hole. It's garbage. Oh, wow. um, is it yeah. trap hole, trap hole? No, it is wipeout trap hole. Or What's it do? Erasure trap hole. Erasure um, trap hole? <laughs> uh, so, when a monster... Is racist. When your opponent summons a monster with 1500 <laughs> or less attack, banish that monster or monsters with 1500 or less attack face down. Ah, uh, it's fine. Eh, it's not great. There's, it's niche and you can send it off for a flesh room, pure trap tricks. It's okay. We'll play one of it. Uh, what's the other thing? What was the other thing, Jake? Um, just double checking if there's any other cards, because otherwise it's more product. Did we get Salamigre support? Well, they haven't announced what it is yet, but that is coming. In the same set, the battling boxes is, we're getting more salad support, and we're never going to hear the fucking end of it. That's the reason why they put Gazelle 2. Is it filming? Okay. I Seb walked over worryingly to the camera and we're like, uh oh. That could I have could have done without salad for another what? two years. Oh, I could have done without it forever. Left. No, yep. I'll, I'll be back to I'll be down to come back to it like in yeah, a few more years. But at the moment, I do not want to see salad. No. Even so, math make me The rest of the sick. world doesn't have to put up with what we have to put up. With. True. <laughs> Although you say that. But the amount of comments on your profiles asking for salad profiles 
<laughs> makes me think that the rest of the world does have to no, deal no, no, with what no, we no, have no, to no, deal no. with. The rest of the world sucks. So they're looking for salad profiles because they're like, fuck, my salad list doesn't work. I need a better list. I'm going to take this guy's list. I don't understand how you can fuck it up with salad. Yeah, it's pretty fucking standard. Like, most most cyberstacks, decks, even Ig- Ignista, is just set up a board, play through three to four interactions, yes, and then summon access code. That's all they do. These people are probably like, oh, I need to figure out how... I need this salad list so I can figure out how to play through it or rise hard. It's like, buddy, you just kind of draw the non-archetype stuff to out your Arise Heart. Figure it out, bitch. <laughs> uh, anyway, <laughs> I hope we have a Discord, Jake. We do, but we're not getting there oh, yet. God damn it. You shut your fucking face. I asked face. him if you had more news, and he's like... I, uh, you fucking didn't listen then. I was just double-checking if there was more cards to talk about. You have ten minutes left. So, uh, we had the announcement of this year's tin... Uh, or eight in this year, oh, I should yeah. say. Uh, the dueling heroes tin. Um, so uh, you get the bonus quarter century rare in every tin. Um, they did confirm which ones were in it, um, but it's not here. It seems to be. Um, we also seem to be getting two prismatic secret rares in each tin. And the twenty secret rare. Yeah, one of those. And that sort of functions as a promo, so you guarantee yeah. one of each of those. And it seems to be just the big monsters, like the three god cards, DM, red eyes, blue eyes, all that nonsense. I read it like they were in the pack. Like, they were just as, in the, as a secret, in the secret slot as well. Yeah. I thought they were, I oh, a secret of, and this. I kind of wish they were in the pack. It'd just make it feel a little bit more special, because now everyone's going to be running around with, like, 15 billion red eyes. They're boneless star whites. You can't put them in every pack. Otherwise, it'll just flood the market but that's kind of the, it's they're already, already, they're, already they're already in every pack that's what they're saying they want in every tin oh, yeah but what I'm yeah. saying is not so much that there's one in every pack is that they're but in the pack as a specialty just, card to yeah, pull just imagine the scaling though of if there's one per tin if you make it one per pack instead you times what's going to be a million flooding the market to three million like, well, that's, but that's not what I'm saying though. I yeah. don't want there to be one in every pack. Yeah. I just want them to be in available the pack to, get. to pull yeah, as a fine. special card. That's fine. I want four metal staple meta staples and nothing less. When can we get Metamorphosis 25th anniversary? Why don't they just do a fucking legacy pack this year? Yeah, like I just want. They did. They did reprints that, of the old set. Put the let's say those the 25th. Like you know the, Good point, Jake. Good point. Oh. They did reprint Metamorphosis this year. <laughs> They literally did the most legacy yeah. reprints you could imagine in that they reprinted the old pack. Yeah, but they didn't do rarity bombs. Starlights. <laughs> you fucking witchy bitch. What if they Imagine if they're on Starlights. CP supers. Imagine they just sneak quarter century rare blue eyes into those fucking packs. Well, I mean, ah. all the, like, all the value would be killed by them being in the tens, right? Yeah. Depends if it's the same art. What I'd like to point oh, out if is they that... put tablets in their fucking tins and then the original art in the packs, oh my lord. <laughs> I saw there were the tablet arts and I was like, this yeah, is that's fucking it. disgusting. Actually, and I would agree with that. If you're giving out the tablet arts and that, sure, yeah. whatever, like hype Give it, it up. But as long as we get the good art. If you want tablet arts, put it in every single pack. Um, what Jake failed to notice is that uh, Rise of the Duelist is not in the Mega Tins. Correct. Do you mean Pally Elms? Apparently, elements. Whichever is the good set from last year. Yeah, apparently. The green set. Yeah. So, the reason green. for that, I can imagine, is green that. Enough. Was purple. Um, green's, n- green's. Green's this Jay, August. Jay can't tell the difference. Just go with it. The reason I imagine that they probably didn't do that Watch is because some of the bigger value cards now mean nothing because. And they're also going to probably rip hit. Sprite out of it as well. Oh, 100%. If Runic Spark keeps topping, that deck is getting torn the fuck apart. There's no power. Power, if there's no power of the element reprint. Ah, oh, it had an unlimited print, didn't it? Yes, it did. True, it did have an Which I believe print. is also still available for vendors to purchase. Yeah, so. so I'm going to say maybe it's worth picking up uh, some of that stuff, but no, if the alien prints out. Oh yeah. my god, an unlimited print of that? Yeah. Huh. Yeah. This hero stuff must have really moved. What yeah. else was in that pack that's not here? Sprite. Sprite. Yeah, but Sprite. Bestials? 
He's cracked. Oh, wait, were Bestials the pack? No, that would have been fucking insane if Bestials were in that pack. Yeah. If we have, we have Bestials right away, it's a whole different story. Actually, Brain would be probably fucked if we yeah, got Bestials earlier. Than, it would be nice. Than Rook. Uh, anyway, Jake, do we have a podcast? Uh, yeah, we, have a See, we do have a podcast, Ben. <laughs> oh, I wonder if... Um, <laughs> my, if <laughs> is Defenders in there? Oh, my God. It is. No, it's not. The other two sets are. Well, the other two sets. I thought there was only one. Uh, the runic set and yeah. uh, the previous set, like the set prior to that, with uh, oh. adventure. Oh, actually, yeah, and we do need that, don't we? Yeah, yeah. it'll be like adventure and sister and so on. Yes. <gasps> Punk. Give me secret. Say the line, Jake. Ellis, <laughs> secret Ellis, secret Ellis. Ah, so oh, Ellis and Martha, they they be secret together. Say the line, right, Jake. You're right there, R2D2. Say the line, I want to go to bed. If you weren't aware, we do have a link uh, that'll be in the description below for our Discord. Feel free to jump in, say hi, and ask us questions such as Froguy did. Uh, what is the best way to play casual Yu-Gi-Oh if you don't have friends IRL that play? Uh, he's not talking about no Fusion, Xe, Synchro, Pendulum, Link, or Legacy formats. He means more modern Yu-Gi-Oh. Because um, sometimes he does see uh, some Legacy port support for decks that he likes that he wants to play um d honestly the best way is probably mastered all in like casual um or even solo mode if you don't want to have to play against like an actual person Let, let's be realistic you can play these fun decks in ranked you can you're not gonna win enough games to go up and verse all the other people in diamond and plat but just being realistic and if you get there you get there fucking good on you you've played really well but yeah just play ranked like yeah, you get gems for doing okay in ranked. So even if you're not at yeah. like the top level, you'll still get a few hundred gemos. Mastered all ranked, or um, is it, what is it Omega? You get Omega. Yeah, that, that used to have a decent amount of people on it. I don't know if their fan base if that got ripped to shreds when Mastered no, all came out. So that's still there. I haven't touched Omega in like three years. I don't test anymore. Shit. It's been a while, hasn't it? Yeah. It's been a long time. I haven't... No, I, it hasn't been three years. Yeah, I haven't so tested sad. since Flaunder East got announced. So whenever that was. That was the last time I, mean, I used Omega. Nearly two. I did a stream, and my stream got copyright striked for the Omega music, because that music is actually stolen. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, yeah. There's a few different ways. Um... I would not in any way, shape, or form recommend, uh, what's it fucking called again? Yeah, Dueling book. Uh, <laughs> slash Dueling with Friends. Um, that yeah, place that, is toxic that, as fuck. Toxic. Even if you go into the fun lobbies, the <laughs> other person is like, you're not having the fun that I want to have. Yeah, and then that, in, uh, yeah, the, in the additional interactions, it's just irritating, like, it's just... Yeah, having to manually do all your cards while someone calls oh. you a racist slur, it's really not fun. <laughs> <laughs> they, should, they should give Dueling With Your Friends voice chat. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> That's an indictment waiting to happen. That'd be it's so an good. absolute crime. Uh, next question comes to us from Matthew Mack. Uh, what are some new techniques you would like to see in future archetypes? Uh, Technique. If, for example, decking out a runic. Very fun for everybody. Uh, banishing face down for cash. Again, super fun. Uh, and column shenanigans for S Force. No, no one's playing S Force. <laughs> but yeah, a new mechanic, if you'd prefer, for upcoming archetypes. Hear me out. I really don't want to. Monsters that summon for free if there's nothing in the column. We've had something in the column. But nothing in the column. That's really problematic, especially if you go first, because you just get to vomit out five monsters. Effectively, you just want pendulum. Yeah. But what have you made them restrictive enough that you can't actually do anything with that? Then what's the point of it at all? There's bodies on board. Isn't Yay, you... bodies! Isn't you just saying? Why don't is? I just play fucking War Rock? Close enough. Yeah. <laughs> and they're called Fenrir. Just... When did you activate? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. So like Yeah, you can't use them for link summons. I don't know, give them that restriction. Done. That sounds fucking awful. Done. What are you gonna do? <laughs> Never play them. 
Can this card cannot be normal summon door set? Can only be special summoned into a column. Even that... Mech Knight can if be you fucking set, normal summon. If summoned. you lose the die roll, you auto lose if your opponent goes set five bucks. <laughs> Fantastic. Another way to lose against back row decks. I'm yes. so keen. <laughs> I don't know what new mechanics I would be keen for. Yu-Gi-Oh yeah. needs more turn skips. It really doesn't. <laughs> we got rid of a bunch of them. It's great. I'm looking forward to when um, fucking Expulsion goes in the next ban list. Look, hear me out. Again. We all just play Mischief for the Time Goddess. Yeah, it's thinking like a quest sort of thing, maybe. Yes. Like, Hearthstone quests were done alright. Maybe something like that. Isn't like, that just like, counters for us? No, nah, like, well... But like when activations have met and stuff, like uh, the fucking what are they, magic? Sagas. Yeah. Yeah, but those are like turns and shit. I have yeah, no I no idea what any of you are talking about. So Good. imagine shard of greed. That's uh, it. Yeah, I just explained different. it to you. Shard of greed, but there's different. Um, yeah. Ad, counter, counter. yeah. yeah. So oh, like, yeah. if it's got three counters, you get to do big effect. Two counters, you do mild effect. One counter, you do well. But to get a counter, would have to be changing parameters. So it'd be yeah. like this once we can add a count for this so that'd be a lot that'd of be so much context <laughs> we're gonna be hitting fucking um uh, endominium length of text endominium where fuck i struggle with that Endem no fucking endymion there's a d in there you have problems with d so why are you <laughs> 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 next but question what you've effectively asked or said mm. is hmm Bragg's running out of time okay there's no other questions so I'm gonna drag this one out a little bit further if that's okay what you've it's effectively okay. asked for is just the um crystal beast field spell I do like that field spell <laughs> <laughs> hear me out uh, you said that so many times now we make an archetype that has one monster that burns for time but that's every archetype in the format every other card in the deck has a fucking mountain of text but doesn't actually do anything so you have to read yeah it's <laughs> <Yeah>. effectively <laughs> none of it's one spare turn you can just play really long ass cards and your opponent reads it and you get to read through the whole... this is what this card does by the way you just read the whole yes. oh, the complete opposite of everyone that plays scum cards before it's just like what does this card do oh, let me I'm read it to you, you verbatim <clears throat> <laughs> So just following the rules of the game, making sure that we're both across the board on this. Jesus Christ. Um, I want to see a little bit more cool stuff done with the graveyard rather than just like summoning back and banishing and stuff. I'd like to see like cool summons and stuff done from graveyard. That would be cool. Not fusion, that's been done. But um, like kind of like how Shiranui Synchro using stuff in the graveyard. I kind of want to see more stuff like that. Never once had my opponent synchro from graveyard my Shiranui's. See? We should see more of it. Mm. There's not enough. Okay. Yep, yeah, I'll pay it. Uh, I'll speaking pay. of enough, uh, that seems to be enough for us to this uh, this evening. I can speak English. Thank you all. What? Make the battle phase great again. Never. We already did that. The end of battle phase. Make main ready. phase two years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but thank you all very much for listening and watching uh, if you are listening to us feel free to favourite if you're watching us on YouTube like and subscribe jump into our Discord ask us some questions for next week and we will see you all then peace